Take God's blessing and take it back to the enemy, you will lose it. That's, right. That's why in the Bible said, beginning the wisdom is fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. Amen. Women, if you want a man, tell God to put the fear on him. Fear God. Lord, let him be the person to fear you. Amen. Because when a man fears God, He'll do the word of God. Whatever the word of God tells him to do. See, all my journey I've been on right now, I've been learning a lot. I've been learning a lot about love and all this stuff. I've been learning about this stuff. And it's so beautiful when you get closer to God. Sometimes you get lonely. Sometimes things come at you. Sometimes but you got the Father. Jesus, he will hold you, he will hold you, and he will put his arms around you, and he will keep you. Yeah. He will love you. Don't lean on your own understanding. It's not his God, and he will guide you. Yes, that's right. See, when you lean on your own understanding, you fall into a trap. That's right, that's right. A lot of people say, Bishop, come over to my party. You want to come to my party? Uh, no harm, y'all, please. No harm. Only why sometimes I don't come. Because I don't want y'all to feel uncomfortable. The next thing I know, everybody going to the back room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> why everybody in the back room? <laughs> why you leave the fish up in the left room? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they going outside? Why are they leaving this They told me to come over here. Y'all well, brought me over here to be lonely? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> watch the house. This is a the house till we get back. <laughs> Ah, they want nothing to happen. <laughs> Why they there party? No harm, happy. No harm. We got somebody. Pastor and the bishop, we love y'all very much. Amen. We thank God for y'all, you know. Y'all makes the church. Amen. Y'all the body of the Lord. Without you, we're nothing. You know, God loves all of us. We all minister. Don't think because you're not a pastor, you're not a bishop, you can't tell nobody about Jesus. You are a minister. All the words you've been hearing, all you have to do is say, you know Jesus love you. That person might be, you know, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to take myself out. Nobody loves me. And you walk right there. You know Jesus love you. Amen. Somebody love you. When I was working on my other job, we had a thing that uh, was up there, and I had a bucket, and I put on there, Jesus love you. Because every time I roll that bucket, they can see it. Come, they come in that way, they can see, Jesus love you. Jesus love you. And the enemy sometimes, he reach out and tell us, no, nah, we can't minister to people on our job because we get in trouble. 
And, you know, one brother was on the job, a young brother, you know, he said, I'm ministering to him. I said, man, don't tell nobody. I, you know, I always tell. I'll just be messing with him. I said, don't tell nobody that I'm a bishop, man. You ain't no bishop, man. I said, ask that brother right there. That brother come over, he said, man, he is a bishop. <laughs> he, no bishop. he said, okay, man of God. Tell what if I go get a tattoo on my body? I said, what God said in his word that he's coming back for a church without spot and wrinkle. <laughs> See, God, you, he's not coming back for a building. He's coming back for you, man of God. That's right, that's right. See, you're that's the right. temple of God. <laughs> so he, he wants your body to be clean. Yeah. That's all right, saints, if you already got the tattoo now. Only thing that's going to bother you if you're going to get another one right now. Amen. Amen. But if you know right now in the word of God that he said he's coming back for a church without a spot and wrinkle. He's coming back for a clean church. He's coming back for you. So don't go. Now you know. So now you're accountable for that word you hear. Amen. See, every time pastor and me preach the word and, and you hear it, you're accountable for that word. Because that word of God that told you, if you go over there, beat down your neighbors. Mm -hmm. And the word of God told you, love your neighbor like you love yourself. Yes. See, you're accountable for that word. See, the Bible says, bless them be the peacemaker for the child of God. He got to go back over there to that neighbor and tell him, I'm sorry. Because you got to be the light of the world. Amen. You got to be the light of the world. See, the world don't know how to act right. The world don't know how to pray and get into the presence of God. But see, we are not of the world. Anybody of the world? Raise your hand. See, oh, nobody. Are you of the world? Okay. Okay, woman of God. We're going to have to lay some hands on you. I'm just messing with you. I'm messing with you, what you got. Yeah. But what I was saying, though, see, the Bible said, see, just what I, let, me, let me break it down to you, okay? In First John, the Bible said, whoever loves the world is the enemy of God. So that's why I was saying, whoever loves this world, who of the world? Because if you love the world, you're an enemy of God. See, we're not supposed to love this world. we just passing through. we just passing through to tell people how beautiful this God that we serve. See, that's why we got to ask God, God, make me beautiful. Make me beautiful, God. So when God make you beautiful, he'll start taking everything off of you. He'll start taking that off, taking this off, and you get closer to the Lord. See, the more we get into his presence, the more closer we get, this come off. See, the more you come, it's, it, see, it takes prayer. When you pray to God and get humble, he'll take that off. Amen. When you get closer, he'll take that off. That's right. When you get closer to God and praise his holy name, because he wants you to praise him, he wants you to glorify him, he wants you to sacrifice him, he wants you to solve his name. Because when you get closer to him, he'll take it off. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. If you're not praying, the enemy is all on your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Stuff all on your back. Trying to mash you down. Making you mad at the world. Making you depressed. Making you hate everybody. Things all back you down. But see, when you get into the presence of the Lord, God will start whoop, whip, 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 He will bless your life. He will bless your life. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Will, all you have to do is speak life in your life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, I don't hang around people. 
You sick, ain't you? You got this, son. You got that, huh? I get away from them real quick. Because you ain't speaking death for my life. Yeah. You ain't speaking death for my life. Yeah. I love my mother dearly, man. But I hate to call this of them. Maybe you got sugar diabetes like everybody else all the way down the tip. The blood of Jesus. Maybe you got high blood pressure. No. I said, I'm buying up there. I was telling her that. In my mind, I'm buying up that sugar in the name of Jesus. But Jesus came back for all generation curse. Jesus came back for all the curse. You got to believe in the Lord. You got to believe in the Son of the Lord God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Unless you want to be depressed and mad and angry at the world, All right. hang over here. No, I ain't talking about somebody who's sick. See, when you hang with God, God's going to bless you. Amen. No matter what you've been through, no matter how much uh, record you got. Mm-hmm. I remember back in the world, when I used to look for jobs and people said, man, you got a felony, you can't get no job. <laughs> See, that's the lie for the devil. You can get a job. Amen. See, the Bible says, if a man don't work, he don't eat. That's right. And you got to speak the word back to the Father. Yeah. See, if you're a son of God, you got to speak the word back to the Father. Yeah. You say it your word. Yeah. If a man don't eat, you don't. No I mean, you don't know what? You don't eat. Yeah. That's what your word says, God. God, you say your word. God, I believe in the day of trouble. God, you say your word. You do it. You do Send your word. Shut it up. Give it to you. See, everything else is a lie. But God's word is true. Amen, 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 amen. You got to believe in the word of God. Don't let nobody stop you from coming closer to God. Don't let nobody. Some people love people so much that they jump in the hell, they'll jump right by your hand. That's right. Hmm. You go, I'll go. <laughs> mm. I might say, tragic. She jumped, I might say, oh man. Why'd she do that for me? <laughs> <you? laughs> Why you do that? Hmm. I want, I, I'm trying to catch you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, but I'm serious. <laughs> So if God have you to do something, obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. Amen. You got to do what the Word of God tells you to do. Amen. See, if you're in the Holy Spirit, because I remember the last time when I backslide, I went over the Holy Spirit. When I was sitting on that car and everybody else was drinking way back in the time, and the Holy Spirit told me not to pick up that glass. And I picked it up anyway. And I drunk way more than they drank. They was all out. I'm still drinking. Couldn't even get drunk. But you know what? The best high is? The best high is the Holy Spirit. Amen. The best high ever. The only best high ever. Give me the power of God. Amen. When you say you don't have to do, call me to your secret place. Give me the power of the Lord. Let us all stand, please. Get up. <laughs> God is moving in a powerful way. Get up. It's good to see you here, Brother Jumpy. Amen. Yes. Jumpy is a good brother, man. He's a good brother. I had to be hard on him. You couldn't get him back, though. I said, look at this. Excuse me, man.